25, 26, 27 miles an hour. Oh, oh, nearly came off. Oh, shit. the amount of mud on me right now is crazy. What is going on, peeps? Welcome back to another episode. Today, I am trying out the Cyrusha Ranger. As you know, I have reviewed the Cyrusha XF900. They reached out to me and they said, do you want to try our new flagship and most up-to-date model? It's got a huge 20 amp hour battery, nine speed Shimano uh, gears, 26 by four inch tires. I love a fat tire e-bike. Got a huge 750 watt Bafang motor. With all that power and being an off-road bike, you've got to have some suspension. You've got front and rear suspension on this bike, really nicely balanced. One thing that makes a huge difference with this bike compared to all of the other Cyrusha e-bikes out there, this one actually has a torque sensor. So if you don't know what a torque sensor is, the more pressure that I put on these pedals is the more assist that the bike gives me. 25, 26, 27 miles an hour. Look at that. I think I think that's a really nice feeling. I've, I'm sort of fed up of having a bike where it's just a cadence sensor. And all I have to do is turn the pedals. Yeah, it's just, it's more natural. So with all that power, you definitely need some good brakes. And I'm glad to see that Cyrusha have added hydraulic brakes front and rear, which are very, very sensitive. And that's what you need to stop in an instant. So like I said, I've got the 750 watt model and it's capable of doing, I've got 27 miles an hour out of it and I wasn't even putting in crazy effort. So I think you can get up to the low 30s with this. If you wanna get this bike and you wanna ride it on the road, they also sell a 250 watt version, which is fully road legal and uh, you can enjoy everything, uh, just a little bit less power. It's still gonna be very, very enjoyable at 250 watts. I'm just trying not to fall off this bike because this is the first time I've ever done any sort of riding like this and it's yeah it feels really nice really comfortable i needed to get out of the city i mean look at that view i don't know if the gopro is picking that up but that is absolutely epic i do not know the routes around here there we go let's go up here go into a lower gear where to go where to go Oh my God, it's muddy here. Wow, I shouldn't have come here. Oh my God, it's so muddy. Okay, this was not a good decision. Oh, I nearly came off. Oh, shit. Oh my God, I'm definitely gonna fall off this bike in a minute. This is bad. I gotta put this in my friend's car. He is gonna kill me. I mean, these tires are definitely keeping me stable right now. Oh my God. The amount of mud on me right now is crazy. All right, it's a nice brake test. Quite a steep hill here. Damn, I think this is a little bit too steep. I weren't expecting it to be this steep. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Back on some decent ground now. Wow, these tires are absolutely caked in mud. Let me just stop and show you. Oh no, disaster. But at the end of the day, this is what it's built for. It's meant to be like this. Right, let's go back up here. Let's do some uphill. See how this motor handles. Oh, nice gear ratio on here as well. Nine speeds. I think you definitely need that with a torque sensor. I'm just hoping I'm not heading up into that mud again. Very nice. So I'm reviewing this bike and I was wondering if you want to have a go and let me know what you think. Yeah?
It's really heavy, but it feels pretty good. All right, so I've been blasting around on this bike now. Let's have a look and see how many miles I've done and how much percent I've got left. 76%, 11.4 miles. Now I'm very surprised by that because I've got a 20 amp hour battery on my 50 Rebels and I think by now, after 11 miles, I would have about 60% or probably even a little bit less, maybe half a battery. So I think that's all down to the torque sensor. Uh, with it not being a cadence sensor, you've got to put some work in. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this bike. Uh, I'm definitely going to be using it a lot more. I'm not being paid to review this bike and even if I was, I would be open and transparent. You know that I'm honest with my reviews. If there was anything on this bike that I don't like, I will tell you. Cyrusha are letting me keep this bike, so I am going to be blasting around, hopefully up in the woods. I can come down by myself on the weekends and yeah, just have, have fun on the bike. If you're interested in buying the Cyrusha Ranger, you'll find all of the links in the description down below. The bike does cost £2,600, but you can save yourself money with my discount code, which you'll also find below. There are three different colours. I've gone for the green colour here. They have a black and a white and orange one as well, but um, uh, my favourite is the, is the green. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one, people. If you have, please leave a like on the video down below. Leave all of your comments and thoughts, and I look forward to bringing you another video very soon.